Hey fellow Ghostbusters, welcome back to Cyclotron Nation. Today's October 7th, Krispy Kreme just dropped their new Ghostbusters themed donuts to the US locations and UK locations. Uh, prior it was in uh, Mexico and in New Zealand, now it's here. I, I just moved recently, I'm in a new state, uh, and just became a member of the Columbus Ghostbusters. I'm officially a member now, so why not celebrate by indulging myself with some sweet treats? Especially around Halloween season, you know, it's all about sweet treats around this time of year, right? We got to indulge ourselves. We're gonna go to Krispy Kreme. We're gonna order I don't know. I'm gonna order a dozen. I'm not and no, I'm not gonna eat them all But I am gonna eat all four Different types and I am also gonna get the uh, slime slushy So I can't wait to try that and we're gonna use that to kind of clear our palate to prepare for the next donut that we taste and I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch me eat every donut. <laughs> this isn't gonna be a food channel. This is a Ghostbusters channel first and foremost. You know, I'm gonna taste them, I'm gonna give you my opinion on them, and uh, hopefully it may help you decide on whether you're gonna try them or not. Decided to wear my flight suit today. Wanted to make the workers days when I go in and pick up the donuts, help them uh, maybe cope with the rest of the day because you know, I've worked in a donut shop before, I know how hectic it can be. So maybe seeing me will help brighten their day and help them get along a lot easier throughout. So, let's take Ecto-8, let's drive to Krispy Kreme and get some donuts. Here we go with some ghost fun again. Grab your hotel back, move on track, hop in Ecto-8 with Cyclotron Nation. All right, so, I made it to Krispy Kreme. Uh, I walked in, as soon as I walked in, the manager was like, I am buying your dozen of donuts. He knew while I was there. So I legit got all these donuts for free and I didn't expect it, but I appreciate it nonetheless. I also got the slime aid. So we're gonna take a bite of these and we're gonna taste them, see what their flavor's like. And I'm going to give you my opinion on what I think. I also told them I'm going to go back in and give them the overview of what I think. Let's start digging into these donuts. All right, so the first one we're going to try is the Ecto Sprinkled. This one is uh, dipped in orange colored icing and topped with sprinkles. Very simple. But uh, we're going to taste this, see how this goes. I think it's pretty good. I'm gonna take a bite from the other end without the sprinkles. I felt the sprinkles kind of kind of drowned out the taste of the icing and the donut just a bit. So in my opinion, the sprinkles definitely do a little bit more of kind of, kind of masking the flavor, but some people might like that and I think it's good. You know, it's half and half. So, you know, it doesn't matter how you eat it. Either way, it's gonna be good for whoever wants to have either more sprinkles or no sprinkles. So. I definitely think this is a good donut. It definitely tastes like a regular donut. There's nothing too spectacular about it, but you know, it's still really good. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cleanse our palate and we're gonna try the slime aid. That's actually, I really like that. That's actually really good. You can taste the lemonade in it. This has real fruit and it also has cane sugar in it. Uh, I actually really like it. It does a really good job at quenching the thirst. Yeah, that's really good. All right, next up we have the Ghostbusters Cookies and Cream. There's the Ghostbusters logo with Moogly on it. So this is chocolate icing topped with Oreo cookie, and then it's got a dollop of buttercream on it. So it's uh, it's gonna be interesting to taste this. Now this piece right here, this is also a piece of candy. Let's go ahead and take a bite of that candy. Now, I don't know how they made the candy. I don't know if it's fondant or not, but either way, it's really good. Let's take a bite of the actual donut. That's really good. That buttercream is what seals it for me because it's topped with chocolate and then and it's got Oreo pieces across it. And uh, that's really good. I really like that. That That is a... Uh, That's definitely a good donut. That right there, in my opinion, is the best one out of them so far. We'll see how it fares against the others. 
And then now we have Slimer. That's another piece of candy right there. I like it. it's kind of he's kind of got a little bit of a real Ghostbusters design to him. This is uh, filled with lemon flavored green filling. You kind of see it ooze out of there right there. See that? It's not the most flattering angle, but it's also dipped in uh, purple and green icing. So let's give this one a go. I didn't get any of the lemon out of there. Ooh. That lemon right there. That lemon really just adds to a whole new level of flavor to the donut. Yeah, that's um that's another good donut. Had to go back in and get some uh get some napkins. <laughs> making a mess all over myself on video. They were asking me what I think of them so far, and I said, I'm not telling you yet. I still haven't tasted the last one. Last one is the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Yeah, fixing, there we go. Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. This one I'm excited to try. Obviously it's got powdered topping on it, so uh, like powdered, I don't know if that's powdered sugar. It's got marshmallow flavored buttercream, super excited. And of course, top of the Stay Puffed candy. So let's try Mr. Stay Puffed. I think the candy kinda uh, dumbed down the flavor a bit, so I'm gonna try his feet. I was supposed to pick these off, right? This is how you're supposed to eat it. I see why. So basically, when you pick it off, you're getting more of the cream. So you're going to get that even flavor and that marshmallow is really going to, that buttercream is really going to really even out that donut. So you're going to get an equal mix of that. And uh, I really like it. That's delicious. That's a good donut. I really like it. So, if I had to choose which donut I prefer the most, probably would go with the Ghostbusters cookies and cream. That would be my number one. That buttercream with that Oreo really, really sold me. It tasted really good. It had a real good flavor. It wasn't too rich. It wasn't too uh, lacking on flavor. It was like a perfect balance. And I think my second favorite, it has to be between the Slimer and the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. There's not a lot to this one. It's just marshmallow flavored buttercream on top of a donut that's powdered. Whereas the Slimer had the green and purple icing filled with that lemon. I, I want to say it's probably lemon curd. I don't know. And I just dropped marshmallow on, well, I wonder if the Ghostbusters did this in 84. I will say though, they're all really good. Overall, they're delicious. I know they're fattening, but who cares, right? They're donuts. It's Ghostbusters, by the way. So, but they're really good. I enjoyed eating them. They were definitely worth the trip to Krispy Kreme. And uh, I can't wait to see what everybody else's reaction is. So if you had any of these yet or have not tried them yet, let me know which ones you like the most or which ones you want to try the most. I want to see what everybody else thinks and what their consensus is on the donuts. For me personally, the number one was the Ghostbusters cookies and cream. But what's your number one? Is it the same? Is it not? Let me know down in the comments. I got some more videos on the back burner. I'm in the middle of editing right now. We'll have those out soon. And uh, I can catch you all in the next one, I guess. So, happy Halloween. Mmm. So I went ahead and I, I've come to a different Krispy Kreme. The one I was at didn't have the uh, packaging, the special boxes, unfortunately. I came to this Krispy Kreme to see if perhaps they have it. Because I definitely would love to have the box and uh, see if they have a couple of those uh, cool trap themed gift cards. So we'll go see what they got. All right, so lighting is terrible here. Let's see if, no, that doesn't help. All right, all right, so. They had it. Got a box. I just went in for the boxes. I already got the donuts, and I didn't want to get any more donuts. That's a lot of donuts. They didn't have any gift cards, unfortunately, yet. 
but we, they still have till the 31st. I le at least wanted to have this now so I can at least say I participated and I know what they look like. So, I also got myself another one of the slime aids. They're really good, I love them. I do want to give a special shout out to the manager of the Krispy Kreme in Polaris. Uh, it, it was awful kind of him to buy me my dozen of donuts. I really appreciate it. I don't know his name, but dude, you're awesome. I appreciate it. it. It was definitely worth it, and thank you so much. And then for those workers at the Krispy Kremes that I've been to, comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the video, and if you had a chance yet to taste any of the other donuts, tell me what you thought of them. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one. Cyclotron Nation.